I'm out here today with Jacob Appleberry, and we're we're out here in our field out here in Jackson, Tennessee, and you know we got a lot of plots going on out here, and we're always wanting to collect more data. And you know the key to all these plots is the data, and trying to track GDUs, moisture, humidity, temperature, all these type things. Got to talking to Jacob one day, and he's like, "Hey, we got some weather stations that work great. They tie in with John Deere Operation Center. They got apps on your phones. You can do soil moisture sensors, tie all that in together. So we're going to put several across our farms on the irrigation." systems that we have dry land and irrigated to see if we can track the difference in moisture levels inside and outside the pivot but out here at the field you know we were installing them and you know jacob had some things he was telling me that they were doing i didn't even realize it well in addition to being able to you know gather soil moisture and look at where you're at on your full optimal refill gauge which is going to show up on your op center to where it's just an easy thing first thing in the morning you're looking at that saying do i need to water or can i water things like that you're looking at the soil temperature but you also are able to look at the environmental conditions and tie that into is there a disease pressure opportunity that's either here or maybe coming due to the weather forecasting that it has between this and the soil yeah. moisture probe the field it's also managing your nitrogen by looking at leaching opportunities. If you get a big rain or something like that, being able to force it through the soil more and maybe lose some nitrogen opportunities, which it's all about you. Yeah. You know, and a lot of times in these variety trials we got out here at the field day, some of the varieties start, you know, showing signs of wilting or lack sure. of water. These sensors here will help us determine if that's really what's going on or if it's heat induced or if it's right. protection mode brought on by the plants, those type things. So be interested to see what happens. We'll be getting, doing some more posts about this throughout the year, but look forward to seeing everybody coming out to field day on August 5th, Jackson, Tennessee.